So this is about a year before the events of Bioshock 1. This is right on the eve of the collapse. Um, running into characters before they've really gone truly around the band. Um, you know, that you, that you know and sort of love from Bioshock. You may not love, or maybe they're, they're you know, kind of scary, but... Um, They're called plasmids, and they're but they're drinkable, and there's some we explain why that is um, in, in the course of the story. Most of the you know the game systems are, are are from Infinite, but the world and the setting is Rapture, and essentially created pretty much from scratch in terms of the environments, the art assets, the characters. Almost nothing is actually pulled out of the or very little is pulled out of the um, is pulled out of the actual files from the first game. We have some. We definitely have some objects that are pulled out, like the circuits of values, machines, and some other things. Um, but we really have cr created the the architectures in basically cr from scratch. The whole first quest has no combat. It's all um, just in that world, hearing people talking because we never had the chance in Bioshock One and Two to have, you know. Just people living in Rapture, having conversations, seeing interactions, interacting with characters in that world, running into characters. The second half involves uh, of that of that part one involves um, Booker and Elizabeth through the course of the plot going to um, one of Fontaine's old department stores that was shut down by Andrew Ryan and sunk to the bottom of the ocean with all of Fontaine's cronies in it. And that is very much an environment when you go down there, like a Bioshock One kind of environment, where they're all spliced up down there. And things are kind of crazy and kind of gone around the bend. So half of it is in this, like you said, sort of like the like the beach sequence, and half of it is. You know, sort of Bioshock. <laughs>